Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today we have a fun tutorial for you. We are going to take and turn these Christmas stockings from the Dollar Tree into beautiful personalized gifts or things that you can use for your home. Now, um, I'm going to try to set this up a little bit differently so you can have an overhead view of what I am doing. Um, but we'll first go over the things that you need for this project. First thing you will need is your stockings. These are from the Dollar Tree. You can get pretty much plain stockings anywhere. Um, they're, those were a dollar each. You will also need your vinyl. This is the Thermoflex Glitterflex Ultra. Um, in the red glitter, I like using glitter on these fluffy surfaces. It adheres a little bit better in my opinion. Um, so there's my vinyl cut for all five of my stockings. You will also need either a ruler or your t-shirt guide so you can measure out and make sure you have center. Scissors, your easy weeding wooden pick, either your iron or your Cricut Easy Press. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press today and a Teflon sheet. Um, I will try to put links down to the items that are available on my website in the description box um, as well. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. Now as you can see from this angle you can watch more of what I'm doing. I have already turned on my Easy Press and it is on 330 degrees set for 15 seconds. First thing I'm going to do is take and remove all of the paper from the inside of each of the stockings. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And that's part of the reason why you need your scissors. And as I said, you can get stockings from Hobby Lobby or wherever. But typically at our house, I take and change our stockings every year. And that is what these are made. What I'm making these for is for my home. Um, that's why there are five of them. So let's go ahead and finish opening these up. As you can see, it really doesn't take any time. And these are made really well. It is like a felt back, a tinsel front, and then like a nice soft plushy top on it. So we'll go ahead and open up the last one of these. And set those to the side. Now what we're going to do, and this is a Steady Betty that is available on SteadyBetty.com. I purchased it at the quilt show. I like the size of it, so that way I can take and use my Easy Press and on my table. Now what I'm going to do is take my vinyl with my Easy Weed and Wooden Pick, which is available on our website. This is my favorite pick, as you can see. It is nice and sharp on the end. Um, you can take and also use this side to squeegee down your vinyl if you have any lifting up. And the font I used is Night Brush, N-I, or K-N-I-G-H-T. It's on defont.com. You can get a free download for personal use. And I really liked this font. And when I'm doing a plush project, I tend to want to stick with a bolder font. I feel like it adheres better whenever I use a bold font versus a thin font. And I just personally like a cursive font for this type of project. And as you can see, it weeds away beautifully. Specialty Materials has a ton of colors. That's particularly why I use the specialty materials over the um, Caesar brand. There just is a ton more colors available in it. But I use both. I actually enjoy both. So it just kind of depends on a, you know your personal preference on what you like to use. Um, 
I am all about having more options available for color. And as you can see, this weeds like a dream. This pick makes it so simple. And it's all of our names for Nadia, which is my oldest, my stepdaughter, but she is my baby. Um, she is 17. She is a senior in high school. So that's kind of exciting. We're getting everything ready for senior year and now we got to schedule senior pictures and all that fun kind of jazz. We've got cap and gown pictures next month, which it makes me sad because they grow up way too quick. And right now we're on a break from the select soccer for Cameron, um, which is nice to not have to sit there and worry about all that whenever it is the holidays. But I'm sure as he gets older, we will have sports during the holidays. And we will have lots of fun things coming up during the holiday season. So now I'm just taking my scissors and cutting these down individually. Doesn't take any time. And I made these seven inches wide because whenever you take your stocking, we're going to lay it to the side like this. But whenever you take your stocking, as you can see, we can find center pretty easily right there. And this is right about seven inches wide, seven and a half and by three and a half inches tall. So we take the longest name, which would be Cameron, and I made his name the longest so that way they would all be the same. Now what I'm doing is taking where my center mark is and I'm just bringing that on top of, I fold it in half towards itself so that way the sticky part doesn't stick to each other. Now we have that nice and laid out and centered on the stocking. It really isn't too difficult to be able to see where it goes. Now I'm going to take my Teflon sheet and I'm going to take my Cricut Easy Press. Let me move my other vinyl out of the way before I heat press that onto my, and you just press and turn on the Easy Press. As you can see, it's very simple to use. Um, I have actually really enjoyed the Easy Press. It works great, but as you can see, the timer tells you how hot it is and how long we have it set for. So there we go. Now we're gonna take and remove the sticky backing. And look how cute that looks. So now we're just going to repeat the process a few more times. So that way you can see exactly how it is done. Lay that out center. And again, it is very easy to see center when you're using this t-shirt guide. Now I'm gonna take my name. See how I'm folding it in half? The sticky part is towards the outside because we don't want the letters to stick towards the center. Now we're going to take and lay that out center. Cover it again with the Teflon sheet. I always use a Teflon sheet so that way I can protect the pressing surface. It seems to work the best when I'm doing projects like this. Um, I have learned a long time ago whenever we are doing projects like this to definitely protect it because I have melted vinyl to the bottom of my heat press whenever I was first starting out. So there we go. As you can see, it's nice and center. And if you're looking for pictures of our finished projects, you can take and look on our Facebook, on our Instagram, Twitter. I try to post as often as possible. It doesn't always work out. As y'all know, which some we have quite a few new subscribers and people who are watching the videos um, that 
this is not, my tutorials on here are not my full-time job. Um, my full-time job is actually our vinyl store, which we have had now a year and a half. Um, I've done screen printing in big vinyl signs and vinyl shirts for about the past 12 years. Um, it is a small family-run business. We are in a small town. Nederland, Texas is roughly about 17,000 people. So it's kind of exciting to me to see how quickly our little business has grown. Um, and I cannot thank all of you enough for the support that I get. Um, but this YouTube thing, I really enjoy doing it, but it is a learning process for me. Um, I never expected in a million years that we would be sitting at almost 14,000 subscribers at this point, which is just absolutely crazy to me. Um, or we would have 36, almost 37,000 followers on Facebook. Um, those are just not the things that you expect when you start your small base business. And we still are a small base company. We have... What is it now? Roughly 10 employees, most are family. Um, and then we're gearing up to Caden tried out for the musical, which if you know anything about Caden, my middle son has Asperger's, which is a type of autism. So for him to be able to feel comfortable enough to try out for musical is kind of great in my mind. Um, so wish him luck for hopefully he'll get a good part. He loves doing theater. He wants to be a comedian when he grows up, or at least that's what he's saying now. He used to be a game designer. Okay, now that one's done. Now give me a minute and we will switch our Okay, so as you can see, our project is done. It did not take long at all. Everything is nice and secured and adhered to the stockings. I absolutely love this project. You can take and either make this for your own home or you can take and give it as gifts. These make great gifts for friends. Um, you could put a bottle of wine in here and bring it as a, as a gift for those Christmas parties that you've got to go to. Um, Remember that we will be doing the scrap box drawing on December the 4th and I will link the video down below that you need to comment and have your friends and family comment on so that way you will be entered in. We The last day to enter is going to be December the 1st so that way I have enough time to sit there and go through all the comments and things like that that we get. Um, remember to check us out on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me comments down below if you liked this new format for the video so that way I can know if you like being in the overhead view to see what we are doing um, as well. Um, also, if you hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, you will be notified whenever we are uploading new videos. Um, for the most part, sometimes YouTube does, sometimes YouTube do doesn't. Um, I think that's it and thanks and y'all have a great day.